Hi, we're out in the front yard. We have so many groups and so many people tonight that uh, we want to make sure that we get to everybody. We're going to start with Sergeant Francis, who's going to give us an update on where we are right now. I understand we need more toys, obviously. It's true. Uh, so our warehouse at the uh, moment is pretty empty. Um, from what I was told, about 20% 20 behind uh, from what we were last year. Okay. Um, so please donate early. Uh, that's really what we need because we have more toys going out than we have coming in. Okay. All right, we'll, we'll do our best to, to make sure that happens. Thank you. I'm going to slip right by you if I can. Hi, Kiera. Kiera is with Sonneson Elementary. Tell us a little bit about what you guys did. Yeah, well, we are Sonneson Elementary and I have our student council here. Um, we've been collecting toys for the last two weeks and we're still collecting toys. Uh, this year we had a candy cane shop and we had uh, students able to uh, donate toys at the candy cane shop. Very good. We appreciate you being here. Thank you very much. We got to kind of move quickly. Greg LaFrance is here from HTG Architects. Quickly, what'd you guys do? We brought 200 toys in this fun group here. <laughs> and this crazy hat. <laughs> had to get the hat in. We are from Eden Prairie, 9300 Hennepin Town Road, and we brought 200 toys and we're still collecting till December 14th. Very good. Thank you, Greg, very much. And last, Steve Ballantyne with BNSF Railway. We have about 20 seconds. What did you guys do? We had uh, food events and bingo and donations, and we were able to raise uh, $750, and we're still collecting donations through December 13th. That is fantastic. We appreciate you all being here tonight. Thank you very much. Of course, Toys for Tots runs through next week. And let's finish with this, can we? Right here, Jeff. We'll see you back at 6. <laughs>